Guys, wonder shall never end. Another woman have just stormed the palace of Oni of Ife right now, confessing. They said this one, <laughs> she don't they develop tumor. They say tumor is on her faces and every part of her body. How it happened, she cannot explain. And she have been confessing how the Oloris have been using her to uh, fight Queen Naomi and the Oni of Ife. As a matter of fact, that period that Queen Naomi left the palace and went on social media to go and write whatever that... Uh, she wrote there. Uh, after some time, then a lot of people were dragging her, saying a whole lot of things. Even Kabir Situ was very, very angry with her at that time. You know, thinking that uh, why would she insult him in such manner and all of that. But as time goes on, there was this confession from uh, uh, um, Yana J's daughter then. I don't know if you have been following, allegedly. So, Kabir Situ later find out that these women that the they manipulated Queen Naomi. That that day that she wrote that, the way she left the palace, she did not plan to leave the palace. Too. If, if, even though, if you, if you watch that video, you find out that she did not leave the palace. Just, she just carried a few things to tell you that she was not prepared. You know? And th then we heard that she was manipulated to do that. You know that, whether you believe it or not, you see all these jazz, they have power. But that is not to say that the power of God is that they have more than power of God. No. But sometimes God allows certain things to happen such that people will learn from it. So I believe that God intentionally allowed these people to manipulate Queen Naomi in that manner so that uh, God will use it to teach KBAC and so many other people uh, thing. So they said that period that, that Queen Naomi was manipulated to do that. Now, this woman in question, they said the woman came to the palace and uh, he was, she was looking like a mad woman with lumps all over her face and uh, so tattered and rough. When she came, uh, the, the guards did not allow her inside. They don't want her to come inside. Reason is because you cannot just come and say you want to see KBS and they will uh, grant you entrance. No. Uh, and a lot of people have been coming to KBS for help. The information has been that she, he used to help them if they come in that manner. But at some point... When he helped this person today, to the next day the person will come again. Next day the person will come again. Even when he might decide to give that person a huge amount of money to go and start up something. Instead of going to start up something, the person will be coming, begging as if it is a daily thing. So for that reason, they said at some point they don't allow people to come and uh, uh, see KBS like that again. So this person came and they thought she was one of those people coming for help and all of that. So they said the guard did not allow her in. Then she was staying on that uh, lane where KBS will have to drive and come in the, uh, around that palace area outside the gate. Though. They said the woman have stayed there like three to four days, sleeping day, sleeping day and night there, waiting for uh, to hear from or see KBS or see Quenome or see anybody that is related to them so that she will beg for forgiveness because they said she is losing it already. And she was told that the only thing that can help her is for her to confess and get herself and ever since then she have been coming she have been coming so that day i don't know maybe it is the day that god want to help her they says when why kbsc was passing kbsc saw her and noticed that uh, he have seen that kind of a person there before and the person was still there he must he was thinking could it be that is a madman that is now staying here something like that i know that some people are like that uh, when they find a place that is comfortable for them, I mean, the mad people, they might be staying there for a long time. So KBSC was like, I saw this woman here the other day. Why is she also still here right now? So that was how they say KBSC uh, uh, allowed the guards to bring her closer. And that was how she started confessing, telling KBSC to please forgive her, that KBSC should find a place in, her, in his heart to forgive her, that KBSC should speak to Queen Naomi on her behalf, that she doesn't know that it is like this, that they use her, they paid her, his money, his money, and his poverty is because she was poor, they decided to use her, that it was her who entered Queen Naomi that day. They used her to penetrate Queen Naomi that day. You know that this same story now looks like that in that... Uh, uh, Antique B and the Olori Calabash we are talking about the other day. You know, where Antique B was saying that uh, Olori Calabash entered her and they used to go and scare Kabies. And Kabies is saying that uh, it was Igbi that he saw. So they said the woman told Kabies that they used her, that she was the woman who entered with Naomi that day. 
Then Kwenami went and wrote that. That the, their initial plan was when she enters Kwenami, Kwenami will start behaving uh, abnormally. You know, even to the point if KBS is around, she will slap KBS. She will do certain things that will make the, the KBS and, her, her, and his people to push her out. But instead of her to behave in the way they wanted her to behave, she left angrily. That had it been she did not leave the palace the way she left that day, she would have caused more harm than what it is already. You know, that please, they should find a place in her heart, in their heart for, to forgive her. That if they did not forgive her, that she might buy this and that. Yay, my people, don't be smart, you know. They said the woman was begging, shout crying, begging KBS, KBS, please forgive. KBS, please forgive her. And I said, now wow, now wow. These people can go extra mile, Hey! Only recently we heard that uh, Yashage have passed on. Yashage was the one who was uh, sending Kwenami's picture to Babalawu. Anywhere they send her, she will take the picture to. They will pay her. Now, it is choking. Because this person that is begging right now, they say she has started uh, experiencing uh, is it lumps all over uh, her body. Some said it's tumor. Tumor and lumps is still, still the same thing. That that is why she is now running her task. That everywhere she goes for help, they will tell her to go and apologize. Anywhere she goes to help, they will tell her that unless that uh, she go and apologize to Queen Naomi before uh, she will be able to get herself or if they give her any medication, the thing will, will be working for her, my people. The second BSC was just looking at her. KBSC does not even know what to do with her. KBSC was like, oh, what kind of life is this? So this is all that this woman have passed through. Eh? And everyone was blaming her. People were calling her names. A lot of people said that the mother did not train her well. There is nothing they did not call with Naomi. God have hasn't. But right now, I believe that God is, God is uh, 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 how will I put it, making her smile. Because right now she is winning. She is winning big time. She's not even dragging for property, and they are giving her property every now and then. Okay, take this one. Everything, anything that will make her happy right now is what KBS is doing. And the same group of people who gang up against her, someone like uh, Olori Kalabash, they were the people that use this woman to manipulate uh, Queen Naomi. Because if you listen to that story very well, that very day, she was the real cause of the reason why Queen Naomi left, not knowing that they used the woman to manipulate her. Now, how far are they enjoying the marriage right now? Quinomi is the one enjoying. And they are there complaining, crying up and down. They, they finally leave the, same, the palace for Queen Naomi from the information we gathered allegedly. Anyways, the only thing I know is that Queen Naomi will always be victorious at the end of the day. Whether uh, they use any woman or they use anything, at the end of the day, God is going to show them that he is on Queen Naomi's side. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. Love you guys.